Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. In the last video, we have seen the estimation of quantity of concrete for staircase in Microsoft Excel. In this video, we will learn the estimation of quantity of concrete for water tank. If you have not watched our previous videos, please watch those videos first. Now, let's start with the tutorial. As you can see here, the section of water tank in AutoCAD. For water tank, there is a base lab, side walls, bottom beams, top beams and columns. I will calculate the quantity of these elements one by one. First of all, take the base slab, which is named as S4. Its length is 5 meter and width is 2.06 meter. And its depth as per the design is 120 mm, that is 0.12 meter. So, I will enter these values in Excel. The number will be 1, length is 5 meter, width is 2.06 meter and depth is 0.12 meter. Now, to calculate the quantity, multiply number, length, width and depth. The formula in Excel will be is equal to cell C244 multiply by cell D244 multiply by cell E244 multiply by cell F244 which comes as 1.24 cubic meter. Now, I will calculate the quantity of concrete for side walls of the water tank. The walls SW1 and SW2 are similar, so I have kept it in the same group. Therefore, the numbers will be entered as 2, the length is 2.06 meter and its thickness is 0.15 meter as per the design. Similarly, walls SW3 and SW4 will also be in the same group, whose length is 5 meter and thickness is 0.15 meter. The height of walls of water tank is kept as 1 meter. Now, to calculate the quantity, just copy paste this formula from above cell which comes as 0.62 cubic meter and 1.50 cubic meter. Now the bottom beams. The beams B1 and B2 are in the same group since its length and design is same. And beams B3 and B4 are in the same group since its length and design is also same. So the numbers will be 2 as there are 2 beams in each group. Their length is 2.06 meter and 5 meter respectively. Now let's check its size. As you can see here in the AutoCAD, the size of all the bottom beams is 230 mm by 380 mm. Therefore, I will enter the size as 0.23 by 0.38 for all the bottom beams. Now, to calculate the quantity, copy paste the formula from above cell, which comes as 0.36 cubic meter and 0.87 cubic meter. For the calculation of top beams, what I have done is, I will just copy paste all these values of bottom beams and I will change only the size of beam. Since the top beams are of 0.23 meter by 0.30 meter. And the quantity will be calculated automatically. Which comes as 0.28 meter, meter cube and 0.69 meter cube. The last part in the calculation of water tank is the columns. As you can see here in the AutoCAD. The water tank is resting on columns C21, C22, C32 and C33. So, I will enter the number as 4 in Excel. The length of these columns is 2 meter. Now, let me check its size from schedule of columns. See, the size of all these columns is 0.23 meter by 0.45 meter. So I have entered these values in Excel. The last part is the calculation of quantity which can be calculated just by copy pasting the formula form above cell 
and which comes as 0.83 cubic meter. Now the last part, calculate the final quantity of total concrete required for water tank. So what I will do, I will add up all these values to get the total quantity or final quantity of concrete required for water tank. So the formula in Excel will be is equal to sum in bracket cell G244 is to cell G255 that is the total quantity from th this to the bottom that is all the quantities will be covered in this. So in this way you can calculate the quantity of concrete for water tank. In the next video I will start with the calculation of concrete for shear wall which is the last part in the calculation of quantity of concrete series. After the conc concrete quantity we will start with the steel quantity that is bar bending schedule. The download links for drawing as well as the excel sheet are also given in the description below. If you have any doubt about this tutorial, you can ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to Unite Coaching for more such videos.